Greetings fellow nomads, Radamon here. Thank you for tuning in to the Wandering Village tutorial series, episode 4, Plaguewood. Pet Ombu just got researched. I am going to pick corn, but then have you guys pick the next one. So here's the options for next research. If village, I would probably pick hut. If resources, uh, maybe sawmill. And if Anbu, sleep or laxatives. So those are the options. Now that I've launched the food, I can shut down the trebuchet. I don't need someone working there when we're not about to launch. And as soon as the scav team is back, I'm definitely going to go to the shrine next. These two shrines have technology or knowledge. You can also employ uh, multiple scavenger teams. I usually find two scavengers kind of gets everything that you need. Uh, but the reason why I'm not employing another scavenger team is I just don't have the free workforce at the moment. I'm just too busy. So the Ambu Doctor only needs four planks left. Good. good, good, good. Man, the scavenger team is off of the known map now. It's like over down here. There is the Scout Tower, which is a distant, difficult to unlock uh, village research, which uh, expands your vision considerably. Uh, just don't have that yet. Oh, decision. Uh, all right, so it looks like we're going to go with research, resource research, but there's a choice here, so I'm going to have you choose. Before uh, even taking a step into the mine, splatters on the wall and shouting from within imply that a tragic incident has taken place. There might be people in need. Let's hurry up and check the situation. Let's hide behind a rock and wait. We'll sneak in when it's safer, or no way this will end well. Let's return. Better safe than sorry, as the saying goes. Looks like we're helping. And four healthy people just joined. Well, that's a lot of people to feed. But it's more labor, so that will help. Uh, four people, one, two. Two more houses. Gonna high priority that. And then also let's, uh, it looks like most of my cut tree queue uh, is finished. So I'm gonna queue some more harvesting up so that the additional workforce, the four more people that we have, are actually put to work. It's about even. Could be better, but it's about even. We're not gonna starve. Once I get this berry spot, it will help out a lot, I think. And there's the new tents. All right, let's also deconstruct this tent as high priority as well, because that will yield us some wood. I'm putting a path in here. You don't get full refunds, you get partials. So you can't, you, you shouldn't, it's less efficient to constantly move things around. And the Anbu Doctor is ready to go. So, the Anbu Doctor requires uh, 40 herbs, so it's a relatively expensive um, thing to trigger. It does require a full staff, you can't go with partial staff. And then, it allows you to uh, cure his health, which is the green, he's at 100%. Um, deliver an antidote, which reduces poison by 20% and also increases trust, and pet, which doesn't cost anything, but has a long cooldown, and it just also builds up trust as well. So right now, I'm running a pet 
Anbu. And you'll see a, a blimp take off and sort of pet him on the face here in a minute. Uh, eventually. Come on. Scouting party just got done. Let's go out to the other shrine. And Anbu smart enough to feed himself. Good. Good, good, good. Nom, nom, nom. Hunger is way down. Fully fed. Oh, here's the pet. See that little blimp? We're gonna boop his snoot. Boop. He liked it. He wagged his tail. All right, next thing that I'm gonna run is a reduced poison level, but we need two more herbs delivered. What ends up happening is the people working here, Fang Face and Klein, will automatically grab herbs from the herbalist and then deliver it to the Anbu doctor so that we can run the cure uh, mission. So there we go. Now we're preparing an antidote run. Good. A healthy Anbu is a healthy village. What's up ahead? Oh, there's a path. So there's a poison forest. And there's poison nomads on the south path. There's the forest on the north path. And we might actually happen upon the nomads up ahead. So do we accept the nomads that are in front of us if we cross paths with them? I'll leave that up to you. And then you guys said I should get resource research. So I'm going to go with sawmill. And I'll have you vote on next research soon. Another thing I could do is my general workers are going to be briefly employed as builders so that building projects get done quickly. Because the four people that are working at this uh, worker post now can only build, which means I'll get roads and the like out of them. Uh, I'm going to tell Anbu if I had a hornblower to slow down because... No, we crossed paths with them. Picked them up. And two healthy people have joined. That's one more tent. For next research, here are the options. We have got, if village, uh, probably hut, which is a larger house. If resources, uh, I could go quarry. And if Anbu, I would do sleep command. So you can vote on that. Hmm. You can see the trees popping up where the mother tree is. The mother trees, I should say. Not all mother trees are necessarily wanted, like the ones popping up in the middle of our farm are gonna be cut down. Um, mother trees have a random chance to sprout on their own. So if you cut down all your mother trees, you'll get new ones. Like here's another mother tree that uh, came up. You'll get new ones. And what you want to do eventually with the mother trees is try to get a cluster of like three mother trees together. That's kind of ideal once you have uh, forestry going. And you'll understand that once I get the tech for it. All right, what is my builders actually building? I don't even know. Oh, they're building the dung collector. That's pretty far away. That's why it's taking them a while. I'm going to have them build this uh, path before the Dung Collector instead. Uh, 
Alright, I do have a choice to be made here. And I'm going to vote on going south. But you can either agree with me or countermand me. It's up to you. So vote yes or no for south or north. I voted south because it has me pick up some additional uh, nomads and it has me avoid a poison spore forest. It seems to be just more jungle as well. Okay. Anbu accepts my command. There's the builders. Looking at my herb amount. Uh, it's a little low. I think we're okay for now. I think it was the... Oh, my Ambu Doctor um, grabbed all of the uh, the herbs and put it into the, the the blimp station. That's what happened to all my herbs. I'm running another antidote because as long as his poison is above 20, you might as well antidote if you can. And my scout team is back and I will scout to this quarry. All right, next will be village research, and do we accept these nomads? These poison nomads needing aid on this path. Be up to you. All right, I am shutting down the kitchen so that that kitchen worker can be a general worker instead. His Anbu is pretty well fed right now. And as soon as another Cure Anbu will run that. Okay, looks like you want me to pick him up. And we get three poisoned villagers. So two more houses, or tents. So I have five builders and four general workers due to the new um, added pop. And I'm gonna employ one of the new workers as a village doctor. So Spesh here is gonna come help with that. My demands are uh, raising up pretty high though. We want better food variety and better food in general. So one thing I could do is... Uh, to get that second kitchen going, so that I can have berry muesli and uh, beet soup at the same time. And also to get the berry gatherer out here as well. And that will help with the better foods. For sure. And I'll also invest in infrastructure, improving the roads as well. The hornblower is not needed. Um, nope, not at the moment. You're right. Let's fire him. And poison levels of 14. So this is the last. Um, you know what? Actually, yeah, this will be the last antidote run that we do, and then I'll shut down the Ambu Doctor. Night, Ambu. Uh, we're gonna get poisoned like crazy as he lies here, but oh well. You see the blimp delivering to his mouth. And now the doctor shut down. Meaning that I have five builders, five general workers. So my general workers, uh, I'm gonna set the... No, I'll keep those builders. nice to actually get things built. Here is the second kitchen. So we're making berry muesli and beet soup 
which will help to give me uh, food variety. So variety is giving me a little bit of a benefit. And the way this works is depending on their housing quality, whether they're poisoned or not, whether they're fed or not, the food quality and the food variety, it comes up with a total productivity. So the better you treat your villagers, the more productive they are. That and, you know, they won't die. That's always nice too, not to kill your own. Might not need mycology either. So I'm going to have the mycologist harvest all that is currently planted and then stop as well. Many of my villagers are poisoned. Yes, well, that's Anbu's fault for laying here. Okay, he's done. You fired. Next research. Go with hut, and then have you vote on the next one. So for village research next, I might go with tomato or wheat. For resources, I would go quarry. And for Anbu, it'd be sleep. We did just get the sawmill. So the way these sawmills work is it gives you a way to mine these large giant chunks of wood out. These do not replenish. Once depleted, the node disappears. Um, and the sawmill and quarry, likewise, can employ about uh, three people that work until their resources are gone. Or not about. Exactly three people. But they work until the resources are gone. Alright, we need a lot of wood, so I'm gonna highly prioritize these trees getting cut down so that we can make some progress there. cat gatherer almost done out here we're also going to want a pantry for it so that we can store the berries uh, near where the gatherer is so the gatherer doesn't lock up and um, stop gathering I have no idea what this dirt road was I'm going to get rid of that and it looks like you guys want uh, the quarry next could be pretty useful, because I am running out of natural stone. We have a pretty good uh, amount of stone at the moment, because I've been able to go to some mines and quarries. I get some. The wood's pretty bad, but it's it's getting back pretty quick. So, berry gatherers. There you are. And let's high-prioritize this pantry as well. So that should help to supply our berries up to an amount where we can regularly make very easily without waiting for resources. Ambu's on the move. I think I just missed those nomads, though. They just crossed paths while he was asleep. 
There is a giant spore cloud, which seems really dangerous as the game indicates uh, up ahead though. So, noted. Do not want to be on the uh, business end of that thing, if I can help it. And Hutch has researched, and you guys want resources next, so that will be Quarry. So can I make him rest and the cloud will pass? Yeah, if, I, if I'm if i about to hit the cloud and right before I enter this red zone, if I make him rest, the cloud could pass by. These spore clouds move pretty slowly, so it's hard to time, but that's sort of the idea, is you use your horn blower or other methods to manipulate Ambu into doing what you want him to do in order to prevent him from going headfirst into some dangerous um, situation, or for you to go into a dangerous situation too, because it works both ways. When Ambu's in danger, you're in danger. And there is a poison forest up ahead too. Cool. All the more reason to get the decontaminator ASAP. I've just prioritized that knowing what I'm about to hit, so we'll try to get that built quickly. I haven't noticed these berries uh, adding up just yet. Some of it is just um, travel time to try to get to work. The road helps, but a stone path would be better. So here's the decontaminator, and the decontaminator um, fights the toxic plants using biogas or unboo bile as fuel. So this bile extractor, which is giving me unboo bile, they can use to burn out the toxic gases. Or at the compost heap, I can take dung and process it into also biogas. This composter is disabled though, because I, ha I don't have the dung collector just yet. But that's what this decontaminator is for. So taking a look, it looks like the giant spore cloud is kind of sitting on the road right now. Uh, but Ambu is not tired, nor do I have the ability to tell him to sleep. So it's not like uh, I can manipulate him in that way just yet. In this storage here, I am going to say uh, only store compost, bio, actually not even compost, biogas and ambu bile. That is all I want in this material storage. There's no priorities in this game, not yet at least, uh, but you can specify what materials you want stored there. And I think we're about to get the Dung Collector. Yep, it's about to be built. All right, that Spore Cloud is straight ahead. So let's see if I can't quickly employ a Horn Blower to tell Ambu to try to wait it out. He does not trust my commands. Well, guess what? We're in for a bit of a, uh, a Spore Treat. That's okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut down the Worker Post and then reopen it. It's going to employ everybody that was workers into the decontaminator. My decontaminators are going to arrive here. So, Mistro and Rupture King, Loritz, Shadowhead, Sarawin. And here they are with their flamethrowers ready to burn out the infection. Uh, up top, you can see strong poisonous air, increased, greatly increased toxicity. And it's going to start spreading that, those spores everywhere. And I'm also going to try to tell Ambu to run, and he accepts my command. Uh, which is good, because he ignored the whole lie down one. So then, instead of manually cutting out the um, the infest infestation, or whatever you want to call it, manually, uh, what I'll be able to do is have the decontaminators do it automatically. They might need some additional aid depending on how bad the infestation is, so if it really spreads a lot, uh, I might have to step in and help them. Another thing is the infestations can destroy your roads, uh, which is not... Oh, yep, here's a perfect example of that. This poisonous plant just sprung up and broke the road, and it doesn't fix itself, so you have to manually fix it once it, it happens. 
Oh, yum. So let's try to see one of these guys in action. Come on, fire bat. Let's go. Oh, they're um, collecting bile for burning. And having themselves... Oh, here we go. Burn, baby, burn. It burns it out. It leaves a little burnt plant that won't spread. And helps to limit the uh, the effect of the spore cloud. We're also about to enter a poison forest. And Abu does not listen to me. He does not want to lie down and let me deal with the last infestation. So we're heading straight into the next one. Yay! Fine. If you won't lie down, the moment he enters this cloud, I'm going to tell him to run. I think he's still running right now, though. From the last time I... Yeah, he's still running. Doesn't trust my commands. Well, keep running, dude. Don't slow down, because I'm having a bad time on, on your back here. I won't cure your poison unless you help me not get murdered by this. We have a deal? Yes? No? I am going to uh, decide to go south. So you can either agree or disagree by voting yes or no. Uh, south is a mountain biome. North is a uh, desert biome. The desert biome has a heat wave and I think a sandstorm, which I'm trying to avoid. But I don't see far enough ahead to really be able to know if it's the better of the two choices. Um, but you're welcome to either have them comply or to have them ignore. It is up to you. Also, uh, what research do you want to do next? And I'll show you the options here in just a sec. So, if village, I would likely go with uh, maybe food stand, resources. Uh, I wouldn't get resources, so don't vote on resources. There aren't going to be any for me to grab. Or Anbu would be like sleep command, maybe laxative. Although he hasn't needed laxatives yet. Uh, running really tires out Ambu, so it's a good way to get him very sleepy. So I'm probably never going to be able to hit the crossroads before he falls asleep. Just to make note of that. And there is a huge amount of this forest that is infected. I hope my decontaminators are up for the task. It looks, honestly, like they're kind of struggling. I'm not going to lie. So I think what I'm going to do is help them out. I'm going to shut down one of my beet farms, employing all of the beet farmers as harvesters. Instead. Um, no, they got employed somewhere else. I don't know <laughs> where they got hired. Maybe at the berry? Oh, oh, dung. Yeah, maybe at this berry, too. Oh, there's they're, they're some of the harvesters. And I'm going to start uh, manually selecting to cut plants. So that the decontaminators... Oh, he's going to sleep. So that the five decontaminators uh, aren't the only ones helping. Oh, also, definitely go for this plant, like, right away. Because that one's in our berry farm. So how many harvesters do I have? All five, good. Come on. A group of settlers. So you guys want Abu research. Do I accept the nomads? You'll have to vote really, really quick. Rubaski, thank you for the, uh, the resub. And hello from South Africa. I know for a fact you're not the only South African in the chat right now. Picking them up. Only one person joined. I don't even need a bed for you. Let's 
scavenge out that way. They are, yeah, my decontaminators are trying so much to try to control the spread, but they are not enough. The poison is just overwhelming. What I'm going to try to do is actually horn to Anbu to get moving. Because there is a... There's a safe patch up ahead that he could sleep in that would be better for both of us. He's, a, he's about half rested right now. And if he could make it out to this Anbu sleeping spot, um, I won't have to get uber poisoned while he rests too. That it's not... You know... Not a bad time. Hey, you had it for extra luck? Hi, bud. No! It's killing all my berry bushes! Oh no! It's over here too. God, it's everywhere. This forest is kind of toast, as you can see, hitting those two infection spores. At least this infection is staying away from my farming, which is kind of important. Uh, this berry farm is getting throttled pretty hard, though. Um, and I do not see that this is getting remedied anytime soon. The My harvesters are just not heading there. They're cutting trees or something. Yeah. So let's go lower the priority of these trees so the harvesters go after those specific um, bushes that are uh, poisoned. Oh, berries. Not good. Not good at all. So this is what happens when you have an unmitigated berry uh, in blight. But he's almost at the sleeping spot, so we're almost at least somewhere that's going to be um, better for us. And I don't have the Anbu sleep command researched just yet. Even though you guys voted on it, I just haven't gotten there. I'm still researching Cory, so I can't tell him to sleep here, but the mountain biome is going to be a little bit better than the current biome we're in. Not for the plants, not for the beets, but at least for us, um, the rest of the village. I will attempt to tell him to lie down at the very least. Doesn't trust my commands. Ignores my commands. But he sits anyway. Okay. Rolling my eyes. Sure, Ambu. Whatever. I just... I just cure you and feed you, and you don't listen to me, but you listen to me anyway. Alright. Next research, you guys wanted Ambu research, I believe. So, I'm gonna do sleep command. Do I have... Wait, did I have, uh... No, I had knowledge for it. Okay. Now I'm down to zero knowledge. So, after this sleep command, I'm going to be pretty limited as to what I can do. I can do warehouse and food stand and wheat. And that is it. So, it's going to be something in the village tree, because everything else requires knowledge, and I don't have any knowledge at the moment. I are dumb. I am starting to build up dung, though. So I'm going to employ one person in composting so that we can use compost to accelerate the grow of our uh, of our farms. And we're still fighting that uh, spore cloud, those two spore clouds. As you can see, the southwest forest is basically totally done. It's, it's just... 
It's just ruined. Yes, yes, yes! Up here, yes! Not really. Okay, uh, so here's a bit of a choice for you. Arriving at the site, an old stone cutting saw looks like it could still be working. Either we could turn it on, we could look for anything else left behind these machines, or let's not touch it. We didn't come here for that. All right, overwhelmingly turning it on. And I got uh, 16 so stone slabs as a result, which is amazing. That like doubles the amount of stone that we have. To the point where I'm gonna shut down my stone cutter for now, because we don't really need it. Employing them as harvesters instead to try to, yeah, this berry, this berry area is done. It is done. There we go. Now we're starting to pluck the berries. It's like a bajillion years too late. It still has an efficiency of 58, which is not terrible, but I wish it, they got there a lot sooner. And my decontaminators are still struggling because it's just so much, um, it's so much uh, blight to be able to clear. Thank you for tuning in to The Wandering Village, which originally streamed live on Twitch September 10th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below, but please keep in mind that the series has since ended. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you would like to join my gaming community, Rodamont.com has a link to Discord, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Twitch subscribers that showed up to support me during this live stream, viewers like you on YouTube, and my Patreon patrons on patreon.com slash Rodamon. Thank you so very much for watching, and I'll catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell.